We also have an update now on the investigation into the man accused of murdering four University of Idaho students last year. Court documents from the Layton County Prosecutor's Office released yesterday say DNA from a swab of Brian Koberger's cheek is a statistical match to DNA found on a knife sheath left behind at the crime scene. That knife sheath, according to documents and previously known information, was found next to the bodies of Kaylee Gonsalves and Madison Mogan, who were sleeping in the same bed the night they were killed. Prosecutors say the DNA is, is 5.37 octillion times more likely to be Brian Koberger's than anybody else's. Koberger faces four counts of murder and one count of burglary in the deaths of Zana Kernodal, Ethan Chapin, Madison Mogan, and Kaylee Gonsalves. He faces life in prison or the death penalty if convicted. A grand jury indicted Koberger. A trial is now set for October 2nd. A hearing on whether to pause the proceedings so he can contest his grand jury indictment is set for June 27th.